Uh, you know what? Before I start recording, I should probably check the weather. Yeah. Good idea, me. Oh my god! You ain't gonna get me! How's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Blastcast. I'm of course Blast Bunny, and today we are talking about a few things. Uh, this is going to be my holiday episode. There's gonna be some Christmassy stuff later on. But right now I want to talk about something that really pissed me off uh, a couple days ago when I read it. And that's Square Enix making Tomb Raider an exclusive title for the Xbox. Now I know some of you are like, okay, Tyler, chill your shit, you know, it's not a permanent exclusive, like it's gonna come to PC and Xbox, but here's the thing, it's not gonna come to PC and Xbox until a year after, so, you know, whatever, you, you're gonna have to wait an entire year to play it on PS4. Now for those of you who have PCs like me, it's a little less of a wait, it's early 2016. Whatever that means. So, the one thing I want to discuss the most is Square Enix uh, said that it wasn't intended to be an Xbox exclusive. So you have to wonder how much money or perks uh, Microsoft offered Square Enix. And of course Square Enix uh, caved because they're fucking assholes. Uh, yeah, I'm not real happy with them. So, you know, the, the guy comes out, I don't remember who it was, I for, I for, it, Rogers, his name was Rogers, that's what his name was, and he comes out and he says, oh, you know, we're super committed to expanding the IP, and we, you know, this didn't come, you know, as a, as a, as a straight move, it was a very long and arduous process of deciding it was gonna happen, and, you know, we were so, we wanted to see Tomb Raider, you know, with Halo and Forza and Gears, you know? Because, for some reason, you want to put your awesome game next to a shitty Halo sequel and another Gears of War game. Because Microsoft, who apparently, who apparently has passion and belief and muscle, can't make good games. Instead, they beat dead horses, you know, until they're bloodied, and then they just find a new dead horse to beat. Now, I'm not saying Microsoft's a bad company, I'm not saying they don't make great games, I'm just saying that they're a corporation, and like most corporations, they're worried about money and not content. Uh, so a great example of this is Sony made The Last of Us, okay? Microsoft released a new Halo and a new Gears. Which one's better? Obviously, the exclusive PlayStation was better. You know, PlayStation is, has better exclusives, you know, they have more creativity, whereas Microsoft just beats fucking dead horses, and it's annoying. But you know, on, on top of that, you have to showcase the hypocrisy of Rogers by saying that he simultaneously wants to expand the IP, and that it did not come as a very, you know, easy decision, but then he's going to limit his, one, of, one of the biggest games of Square Enix's release this year to one console because that somehow makes sense you know what here let me go ahead and explain this to you rogers because if you're super committed to expanding the ip you wouldn't give your game a year to flop and die on one console do you seriously think that people are then going to rush out a year later after this game has faded into you know discussion and go buy it i mean of course i'm going to but i'm committed to buying it because I want to do it for my channel. So the, the the funny thing about this is that on one hand he's trying to double speak and say that he's super he's super sorry that the fans had to do this, but on the other hand he's totally saying fuck you, we're going to Microsoft. The 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 thing that really irritates me the most is that he he's refusing to talk about the deal between Microsoft and Square Enix, saying oh it's a business deal, it's not important. But it is, it is really important because this this is the kind of bullshit that kills game the game industry, okay? It's microtransactions and fucking exclusives. <clears throat> when a company like Microsoft makes their own game. So when when uh, when Microsoft made 
Halo. Well, they didn't really. Bungie made Halo, but Bungie was working under Microsoft. So technically, Microsoft made it. So Microsoft made that exclusive. Makes fucking sense. It was made internally from their people. Square Enix is a company that makes games for, for all consoles. They have for ages. And so when you take one company like Square Enix and you and you say, well, you're coming to our console only and we'll give you this perk to do it, I mean, that's bullshit. Even then, this is a dumb decision to begin with. The reason you have exclusives is to drive console sales, okay? So, <clears throat> oh, you have to buy our console because that's the only way you can play this game. Fine, whatever. That's great. I enjoy that. I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, the whole capitalist industry bullshit. Whatever. Fine. But here's the problem. You're not going to drive sales with a timed exclusive, okay? Like, I, I'm not going to rush out and buy an Xbox One when I can just wait early 2016 to play it on my fucking PC, which is light years ahead of your fucking X-Bone. So, I mean, I just... I just don't understand why either company would make this stupid, horrendous decision. On one hand, you have Microsoft who's not going to gain anything from this. In fact, people are just going to look at Microsoft and be like, well, you guys are fucking assholes for making this exclusive. I think this is going to cost them sales instead of making them money. <clears throat> On top of that, now Square Enix looks bad because they pissed off the fans. And you know what? He even fucking came out and said he knew this was going to piss off fans. He fucking knew it was going to happen. Uh, so all I really have to say in this instance is shame on Microsoft and shame on Square Enix. I think it was a bonehead move. And I, I really hope you don't fucking do it again. Because let's face it, that's just, that's, that's awful. Or hell, sell the IP to a company who actually gives a fuck. Anyway guys, enough of the boring shit, let's get on to the Christmas episode. Okay, so for the second part of this blast cast, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do Blast Bunny tries to find something to play. Christmas edition. Ha! <laughs> ah! All right, so the first game we have here is called Winter Quest. Uh, you appear to be a snowball who tries to get bigger. Sounds fun. Let's do it! Oh god, how do I control this? I'm a bad snowball. Oh god, this is actually really hard. Merry Christmas, everyone! Watch me get killed by a crevice sn thing. Man, you move slower when- oh, that's good enough, that's good enough, that's good enough, that's good enough. No! All right, guys, this next game is called The Legendary Santa Tale. There's a disclaimer before this game that says, this game is complete randomness and mature content might show up. Don't play this in front of your parents. I don't know what that means, but I'm really hoping it happens because that'll, uh, that'll be funny. All right, input a name for your Santa Claus. Master P, done, 2015, Christmas. I was just sleeping, and when I woke, someone was staring at me in the bathroom. Oh god, what the fuck? Why is Santa Hispanic? You know what, I don't care. He's a fictional character, and I'm really bottom any. He told me his name was Master P. <laughs> uh, and that he was a famous live streamer. Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't know Master P was in live streaming. The Nickbacks members decided to make a demon called the Fake Santa. Released in 1853 with the guy from Titanic slaying a platypus in the cover. The demon raised up to two big dollars, whatever. The guy from Titanic, fascinated with such money and filled with irritation, decided to fuck the demon. All right, okay. Oh, it's, oh what the fuck? Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. It's time to deliver presents. I can't 
can't get him in the fucking chimneys. What the shit is this? Oh, I got one! Alright guys, this is where I'm going to have to end the episode. I hope you and yours have a wonderful, merry, bombastic, spectacular, tubular, cowabunga holidays. And uh, I hope that your 2016 is just as awesome and ecstatic as my 2015 was. And I hope that my 2016 uh, is just as amazing. I hope I get to continue to grow and make funny videos and get the crap scared out of me. And uh, I'm looking forward to this next year. And I hope all of you can come and join me in it. Uh, happy holidays, guys. I'm out. <laughs>